Food prices and supply chain problems have been on the radar for many months now, but a question being asked is, are things about to get worse? Today, a food expert, the food professor, uh, Sylvain Charlebois, who is a professor at Dalhousie University, is asking the question whether Ottawa is aware that a food shortage, a global food shortage, is about to start. So we asked him why he believes that's the case. Simple mathematics, really, when you look at uh, volumes uh, compromised by a conflict in the Ukrainian region, uh, coupled with uh, supply chain woes, uh, the invasion just made things worse. And, and, and did happen at the worst time when uh, farmers were starting to plan uh, to seed uh, in that region. And also sanctions uh, against Russia are are going to prevent the world from having access to to grains critical grains like wheat corn uh, wheat and corn together represents almost 30 percent of all calories consumed on planet earth mm -hmm. and so that region is responsible for 25 percent of of exports of, of wheat and corn so so the question basically is this, can North America produce enough to uh, cover that gap uh, created by, by the Ukrainian conflict? And the answer is no. In America, almost 40% of the corn produced uh, goes for ethanol production. In Canada, it's about 10%. Mm -hmm. So all of that food is being grown for fuel. I think we need to be clear on the fact that by fall, uh, more than 100 million people, additional people on earth will experience either famine or severe hunger. I don't think we'll experience a food shortage here in Canada, uh, but we certainly will be paying more for our food. North America should make uh, a, 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 a significant contribution if Mother Nature cooperates. But when we get to Europe and Ukraine, there'll be nothing, there'll be a huge deficit. And so, and of course, Russia won't be able to sell its output to anyone except perhaps to China.